Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine this morning. You know, one of my favorite words of the Bible comes out of Psalms 23. And in verse 5, it says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So why on earth would God set a table for you in the presence of your enemies? I mean, they're not outside the room. They're not someplace else. They're right there with you. He has set a table of grand feast, of food, of desserts, of filet mignon, of everything you could possibly want. And your enemies are in the same room. You see, this is to show your triumph over your enemies. This is a place of honor. This is a place of position. This is showing everyone that you have victory over your enemies. It is a place of strength. It is a high honor. He has just exalted you. That's what it means, that I have shown you the victory. You have gotten the victory over all of your enemies that are right here. You have the victories. My goodness, what a wonderful thing he's done. We're invited to have an intimate relationship to dine with the Most High God. And at this table, what did he put at this table? He has placed peace, clarity. He has placed abundance. He has placed joy. He has placed all the things that you should be having victory over your life. Fear, depression, all of that is placed on the table. It's off the table because he, he has defeated that. You are, has, he has defeated every one of these of you. He's placed with you all the good things in life, all the wonderful things in life. See, sometimes when we're, I'm sitting at this table, I'm also realizing I just invited someone that wasn't really supposed to be at my table. I might have invited a little bit of fear, a little despair. I may have invited, oh my gosh, I'm foggy, I don't know, I can't think, I'm overwhelmed, I'm, I'm fearful, I'm depressed. Sometimes you just invite that right at your own table. I want you to go back and take back what God has prepared for you at your table. Take back your table that was prepared for you and not your enemy. Remember, who set this table before you? Who set it before you? You didn't set this table. Almighty God himself set the table before you as honor for you. So don't invite the wrong people at your table. Remember, keep your enemies at bay. Amen and amen. You have the victory. God is showing you, you have the victory. Amen and amen. Let me pray for you. Because sometimes we may not, we invite people at our table that's just not supposed to be there. So we want them gone. So in Jesus' name, let me pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I come to you and I command all illness, disease, sickness has got to leave my table because it doesn't belong here. It wasn't invited. You say, and you have to get out of my life. You have to get out of my head in Jesus' name. No longer will you be able to oppress me and suppress me with depression and fear. I am more than a victor in Christ. He has set a table before me full of love and peace and joy and clarity and health and energy. And I thank you, Lord God, that I am healed, that people that are sick today are healed now in Jesus' name. Lungs that are, are clogged up and sinuses and throat problems. Now I de decree and declare that you are healed and all the infection in that throat and inflammation has got to go in the name of Jesus. Cannot stay because it wasn't invited to your table. We thank you, Lord God, that, that knees that are, are painful and hurting are now healed. We thank bones that are that are healed, Lord God, instead of broken, that they're full of marrow, that they are, are strong in the Lord. We thank you, Lord God, our body is stronger than the Lord and the power of his might. We just raise ourselves up, Lord God. We just raise ourselves up to a higher level in the spirit that says, I know my God set a table for me and I am healed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God, I'm making a great rise and shine day. Remember, I'm on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Look me up, share me with someone, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.